We are gradually getting a clearer picture on who will be on the ballot when tens of millions of Koreans head to the polls on May 9th to pick their new president. Korea's Patan Party, which broke away from the now defunct former ruling Senori Party last year, has tasked Yu Sung Min with winning them the Blue House. Also on Tuesday, An Su took a big step toward winning his party's nomination. Park Ji-won has the latest on the build-up to the big race. The splinter conservative Patton Party picked Yu Sung Min as its presidential nominee at a party convention Tuesday afternoon. The decision was made by combining the results of a spot poll taken the same day on some 2,700 delegates from across the country with the outcome of a public poll and a member's poll taken in previous weeks. Representative Yu, who was once the floor leader of the now defunct Senori Party, prevailed over Gyeonggi-do Governor Nam Gyeong-pil, taking more than 62 percent of the votes. The Patan Party broke away from Senori, which has since changed its name to the Liberty Korea Party late last year, after a series of internal feuds among various factions. The 59-year-old nominee says he will focus in particular on strengthening a transparent and fair market economy using his economic expertise. I will find a solution for the economic crisis and get the nation out of the slump of low growth. The Patan Party and the Justice Party are the only two parties to have settled on their nominees. But the Liberty Korea Party is next in line. It's planning to choose its nominee on Friday. The other two parties, the Democratic Party of Korea and the People's Party, will pick their nominees by April 8th at the latest. The Liberty Korea Party held its last televised debate on Tuesday. The four contenders, former lawmaker Lee In-jae, Gyeongsangbuk-do Governor Kim Kwan-yong, two-time lawmaker Kim Jin-tae and Gyeongsangnam-do Governor Hong Jun-pyo, discussed a range of current issues including North Korea's nuclear threats. The Democratic Party of Korea held a televised debate in Busan on Tuesday that was broadcast to the southeastern Gyeongsangdo provinces, including Busan and Daegu. The day before, Moon Jae-in, the former party chair and a former presidential nominee, garnered more than 60 percent of the vote in a party primary in southwestern Jeollado provinces. The People's Party also held a primary in Busan on Tuesday, representing Gyeongsangnam-do province and the cities of Busan and Ulsan, where former party leader An Cheol-su again won a big victory, as widely expected, garnering more than 74 percent of the votes from regional delegates. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Justice Party nominee Shim Sang-jung continued campaigning in the southwestern city of Gwangju. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.